Welcome to Payroll Time Entry by Viewpoint. This video will discuss how to navigate the payroll portal on your desktop, which works in conjunction with the PTE application you will be using on your phone. The main function of the payroll portal will be to view time entries and to make minor edits. To start, enter your email address and password and log in. Here is a quick tip. Create a shortcut or bookmark for this website to access it quickly. First copy the URL link at the top of the browser. To create a Google shortcut click here. Add the name of your shortcut. And paste the link here. Another option for easy access is your bookmark toolbar located at the top of your browser. Right click and paste the link. Now let's return to the portal. Take a look at the top toolbar where you will see the time cards tab. Time card query will be used for viewing your job's time card entries. You will not be able to make edits in this section. Click on the pay period you wish to view. Next select the job number. Hit the query button to view. You will be able to view all employees time cards from this particular pay period. Click on the tabs to sort the columns. Export to Excel if needed. Next we will explore the View Pay Periods page. Here you will be able to view and make minor edits to employees' time entries. Select the desired pay period and job number. All edits must be made before Monday at 3 p.m. for the previous week. Click Query. Here you will see a drop-down list of employees. This list is showing you the results of the PTE application entries from the foreman and subforeman that have entered their cruise time and synced from their mobile devices. If the foreman did not sync, the information will not be displayed here. Look under the Entered by column to see which foreman entered the time card. If you see an error you will only be able to delete the entry or edit. You will not be able to add a time card here because the software is not set up to operate to that capacity. To add a time card to this pay period you will need to do so by utilizing the PTE app from your phone or mobile device. To delete an entry that may have been accidentally duplicated click the delete button and confirm. If you need to edit an entry select the edit time card button. Make corrections in the following window. It is important to note that hours should only be changed when reducing the quantity. If hours need to be added please use the PTE app. Also, only make changes to the current pay period. Do not make changes to previous pay periods. Click Save. Once saved changes will be automatically synced and no further saving will be required. Again, all edits must be made before Monday at 3 p.m. for the previous week or the changes will not be reflected on the employee's paycheck. If an error was not corrected before this time please reach out to payroll for assistance. This concludes our review of the payroll time entry portal. Once mastered, this software will become very easy to use and save time and resources in both the field and accounting departments. It is important to remember that general foreman should delegate time entry on the PTE app to the subforeman for their respective crews. For questions please contact the operations team.